Hello mga students, welcome back sa aking video lecture. Now, this video lecture is already part of chapter 2, Introduction to Transaction Processing. At yung lecture na ito, pag-uusapan muna natin yung tatlong cycles under the transaction processing system. Ano ba yung tatlo na yon? You have your expenditure, you have your conversion, you have your revenue cycles. Okay, so yun po ano yung papasadahan natin sa ngayon. Okay, o, recap lang po tayo sa previous video lectures nung pinakita po natin itong information system, in particular yung ating accounting information system. Kasi po pag zinong in natin yan, o, remember this one and I hope you can still recall at fresh pa ito sa inyong mga utak. Ang focus natin dito ay yung transaction processing system because as you know, the TPS, oh, Transaction Processing Sim uh, System, simply TPS, no? it processes financial transactions. An economic event that affects the assets and equities of the firm. Okay? It re is reflected in its account and is measured in monetary terms. Of course, alam na po natin itong mga bagay-bagay na ito, ano? Ia-apply lamang po natin ito in a computerized setup, no? applying information system. Now, the transaction processing will be subdivided further into these three cycles. Ano-ano ba ang expenditure cycle, yung conversion cycle, at saka yung revenue cycle? Now, this is the overview of the transaction processing system and this presents the relationship of the three cycles. No? Your expenditure cycle here, your conversion cycle here, and then your revenue cycle here. Because, believe it or not, every business, profit-based man yan, or not for profit, it incurs the three types. No? They have these three types of cycle. Yung expenditure is for purchasing, no? For purchases, expenses. Makikita ninyo under the expenditure cycle, our subsystems here are purchasing slash accounts payable. You have your cash disbursements, even your payroll and fixed assets. Okay? Oh, more of paglabas ito ng pera. Sa conversion cycle, especially if you are into manufacturing companies, kinakailangan mong mag-produce o oh, ito po yung cycle nila because this is where oh, production planning and control is affected no or and even yung cost accounting no pag monitor ng ating mga labor yung ating mga material and even the physical plant na binili natin ano coming from the expenditure cycle and then after we have the finished goods ano bang gagamit ano bang silbi ng finished goods Kung hindi, ibenta. Therefore, we have the revenue cycle. And the subsystems under the cycle are your sales order processing and then the cash receipts. Okay? Meron pa po yan, yung sales order returns. no? Pero pag-uusapan natin yan later on pag nandun na tayo sa mga subsystems na yan. Okay? Now, under your expenditure cycle, oh, please take note of this. Babasahin ko lang po para sa inyo. Most expenditure transactions are based on a credit relationship between the trading partners. Kasi po makikita ninyo dito unang dalawa, purchasing, accounts payable, and then cash disbursements. Oh, bakit sinabi na transactions, expenditure transactions are based on credit relationship? If you are in a company, if you have an experience na kapag OJT ka na, na kapag immersion ka na, na exposed ka sa accounting department, especially doon sa P2P portion, usually ang mga purchases, hindi yan laging cash payments. Purchase on accounts yan. Kasi meron tayong credit relationship sa ating mga suppliers, yung ating mga trading partners. We have accredited partners na kung saan, when we purchase with them, it is purchase on account. Meron credit terms with them. So, nakahiwalay, nakabukod yung payment later on, payment of the account. So that the actual disbursement of cash takes place at some point after natin matanggap. So, parang ang mangyari, order nga kami supplier 
ng ganito. Okay? Ng mga computer sets. O, sige. Ipapadala namin ito sa inyo pag napadala na namin yung actual units kasama na yung billing. So that purchase on account yan o pag may credit terms, sabihin na natin 15 days yung credit terms. After 15 days, saka natin bayaran para na ma-maximize yung man, uh, pagmamanage ng pera. Part, yan, part din kasi ito ng cash management. Okay? O days or even weeks may pass between these two events. Kaya nga, from a system perspective, dalawang parts yan. Yung physical component is yung pagbili ng goods and then the financial component is yung pagbabayad sa supplier. Yan po ang ating expenditure cycle. Now, yung conversion cycle is because of the production, sabi ko nga kanina, no? Hindi lamang po niyan involve yung production lamang talaga kung hindi maging yung planning, scheduling, and controlling of the physical products. Pagbibili ng mga kailangan, saan yon Expenditure, pagpapurchase ng mga raw materials. Pero yung pagpaplano, ano yung mga kailangan nating raw materials, ilang units yan, hanggang sa ma-produce yan at mabuo na yan, o conversion cycle po yan. Okay? It includes determining raw material requirements, which I already mentioned. Authorizing the work to be performed and the release of raw materials into production. And directing the movement of the whip or the work in process through its various stages of manufacturing. Ito po ang bumubuo sa ating conversion cycle. Yung cost accounting system, itong nandito sa pangalawa here, it monitors the flow of cost information. Kasi hindi simpleng bagay yung cost accounting natin dyan, no? We have to identify papaano yung flow ng cost, kaya meron tayong cost accounting system. Information the system produces ay nagagamit for inventory valuation para ma-determine magkano ba natin i-value yung inventory. For budgeting purposes, for cost control, performance measurement or performance reporting, and even decision, manage, uh, decision making ng management. Bibili ba ako or gagawa na lang? Okay? Mga relevant costings din, di ba? Relevant reporting. Yan po ang ating conversion cycle. Now, yung last, yung ating revenue cycle. Actually, the revenue cycle also have a physical and financial component. Kagaya ng ating expenditure. No? Ang physical component dito sa revenue cycle is your, o ano, yung pagbebenta, paglabas ng goods. Ang, physical, uh, ang financial component is yung pagbabayad ng customer. Pangungolekta natin ng pera. Mauna yung physical component, may deliver natin yung goods doon sa buyer and then later on yung pagbabayad ng ating mga customers that is the financial component okay so yan po ano eto lamang yung ating gustong pag-usapan sa video lecture na ito okay uh, again if you have any questions please let me know ano pero kung wala naman eh, di hanggang dito muna tayo magkita-kita tayo sa susunod na video lecture until then bye bye